Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hi guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and in today's session, we'll be taking up a problem based on projection of planes. So let's see what the problem has in store. Here we go. It goes like this. Draw the projections of a circle of 50 mm diameter resting in the HP on a point A on the circumference. Its plane inclined at 45 degrees to the HP. Okay. So the surface inclination has been given as 45 degrees with the horizontal plane. All right. Now then there are two cases. Hence there are going to be two different drawings. In case one, um, the projection has to be made taking this into consideration. Let me read this out. The top view of the diameter AB making an angle of 30 degrees with the VP. And then in case two, the diameter itself, that is diameter AB itself, making an angle of 30 degrees with the VP. Okay. Now let me write down the given data object, obviously a circular plate or a circular plane, negligible thickness, right? Now the next most important thing is the condition. So watch the condition. Now the condition says that amongst all the points in the circumference, there is one point, name of that point is point A, which always remains in contact with the horizontal plane. So that's a condition. That means the remaining points are up in the air. Or you can also say that the surface is definitely going to make some angle, which is 45 degrees with the horizontal plane. So here it is. And then it's all about cases. Case one, top view of the diameter. Okay. So whenever top view makes an angle, it has to be denoted with beta. And whenever the true length and here the diameter itself or the true length of the diameter itself is making an angle 30 degrees with the VP. Therefore, the denotion or the representation is going to be something like this phi is equal to 30 right okay now i've divided the solution into two different phases in phase one i'll be giving you a demonstration as to how the object has been really kept with respect to hp and vp what shall be our initial assumption okay whether we are going to slam it on the hp or we are going to slam it on the vp these things i'm going to be discussing in phase one and in phase two it's going to be all about drawing orthographic projection of the two cases okay so let's begin with phase one now watch this carefully this over here is a circular plane the diameter is obviously going to be equal to 50 millimeters now whenever you try to solve problems based on prediction of planes always try to determine the surface inclination and as far as the surface inclination is concerned we have been given it as 45 degrees all right so it's going to be something like this 45 degrees to the hp something like this you see this this angle over here with respect to the horizontal plane is equal to 45 degrees. So if the surface is inclined to HP, our initial assumption for step number one is going to be like this. We are going to assume that the entire surface is resting on HP or we are going to say that we are slamming the entire surface on the HP. And then we just got a thing from where can we see the true shape of the surface? Well, obviously this true shape can only be seen from the top and thus you have to begin by making the top view first and accordingly its front view is going to be made so that was all about step one now coming over to step two what happens basically we go for surface inclination and this is exactly what we're going to do surface inclined to hp this angle of 45 degrees can be seen from the front and therefore you can say that this front view which appears in the form of a line will be reconstructed or rather recreated at an angle of 45 degrees making sure that this point a still remains grounded okay so this is diameter a b okay so this is point a which still remains grounded fine so let's go ahead and do the construction case number one here we go fine so initially we are assuming that this surface uh, is resting on hp and therefore we are going to begin by making the true shape of the surface which can only be seen from the top that's a circle diameter is obviously 50 millimeters now let me name the points um starting from here a b this is diameter a b and this point a always remains in contact with the ground or with the horizontal plane you can say there's a lot of heat oh. now what we're going to be doing is uh, please watch this carefully let's say this point is point one two, three, four, five, and let's say this is six. That's it. Fine. Now let's take a look at this from the front. And this is what you're going to see. 
simply a line okay so this curved portion is something that you're gonna see a 1 2 3 b portion appears as a line okay let me show you let us try to uh, learn in a more realistic way resting on hp and this is the portion that you're gonna see simply in the form of a line that's it all right here we go this is a dash and this is going to be one dash comma six dash and similarly you can name the remaining points and let me darken this okay now step one is over and we have to go for step two in step two we have to apply the surface inclination if you watch carefully surface has got to incline itself with the horizontal plane okay making sure that this point a remains grounded or remains in contact with the horizontal plane okay so what we're going to be doing is this was the front view that is a line we are going to recreate this line at an angle of 45 degrees and in that sense we'll have the surface getting itself inclined at an angle of 45 degrees so let me have a point over here let's say this point is this one that is a dash okay now let me make a line at an angle of 45 degrees the length of this line is going to be equal to the length of this line all right let's say this is um, this arc which you see right now is nothing but uh, the location of one dash six dash all right you just need to keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here that is at one dash and then with this a dash as the center you need to put an arc similarly you can have the remaining points that's it now what essentially we're going to be doing is we'll try to watch this from the top and you can definitely make out that you are not going to see a circle anymore rather you would see an ellipse a squeezed up circle okay something of this sort let me show you these are the projector lines from top to bottom and from left to right these are the intersection points let me name this is a this is the vertical for a this is the horizontal for a similarly this is one this is the vertical for one and this is the horizontal for one similarly you can have the remaining points there we have it and when these points are joined in proper sequence we have an ellipse okay so the apparent top view of a circle is an ellipse when the circle itself is um, inclined to the hp so the first two steps are over surface has been inclined and the only thing left is to incline the diameter's top view that is this ab with respect to the vertical plane all right making an angle of 30 degrees so what i'm going to do is this make a line at an angle of 30 degrees with the vp now this angle can only be seen from the top let me make this a point somewhere here okay that's a and let me take this a b as radius and then with this a as center i'm going to put an arc so that i can have point b all right so this portion that is 654 portion is going to be somewhere here and this portion 123 portion will be somewhere here okay now let me make these points so that i can have a better assessment now this point over here guys over here okay will be somewhere here this point is right at the center somewhere here and we're gonna have one more point through these three points i'm going to be drawing perpendicular lines something of this sort the perpendicular lines here have already been made and i'm going to make them in this step three stop view something like this right and that's how you can have points six point four here you'll have point six here we, you will have point four and here you'll have point five that's it and when you join all of them you'll have an ellipse making sure that the diameter stop view is at an angle of 30 degrees with the vp okay so what we have essentially done is that we have recreated this figure over here making sure that the diameter stop view this a b is kept at an angle of 30 degrees with the vp okay watch next now let's take a look at this from the front that's it let me have the projector lines from bottom to top and from left to right okay so these are basically the intersection points now let's say we got point one so this is the horizontal for one and this is the vertical for one and that's how you're going to get the precise location of one dash okay let's take one more example okay so we've got a dash so this is the vertical for a and this is the horizontal for a and that is the precise location of a dash all right similarly you can have the remaining points and when you join all these points in proper sequence this is exactly 
what you gonna see so guys that was all about case number one where the top view of the diameter was inclined to vp okay whenever you deal with top views this angle beta will come into the picture and whenever you deal with true lens the angle phi will come into the picture okay so now let's go ahead and let's take a look at case two time meters true length inclined to vp so i've already made these two figures step one and step two for both the cases are going to be same no difference the only difference is let me show you what the difference is okay again the angle is going to be same 30 degrees but the terminology is a bit different okay so at 30 degrees we'll have the true length of the diameter let's say this is a okay this angle over here let me write this this is phi phi is equal to 30 degrees and in the previous case it was beta is equal to 30 degrees okay this is the true length of the diameter that is 50 millimeters so if we have point a over here so at a distance of 50 millimeter we're gonna have point b so that's point b based on this true length let me have a locus line for point b like this now with a b as the radius keep one leg of your compass at a other leg at b and with this a as the center you just need to put an arc in this locus line and there you get it this over here is what you call point b1 now join b1 with a so that's the top view the new location of the top view all right fine so with this as the reference line this is the reference line we are going to recreate this same stuff this oval shape this ellipse um, over to this side okay so let me do this quickly uh, th these are going to be points 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 4 5 and 6 let us join all of them with the help of a smooth curve this is exactly what you're going to get let us take a look at this from the front and from the left and uh, these are the intersection points let's say we want point a dash so where is a dash this is the horizontal for a this is the vertical for a and that's the intersection what else we've got b1 dash this is the vertical for b and this is the horizontal for v and this is b1 dash similarly you can have one dash so that's the horizontal for one and that's the vertical for one let's have one more two dash okay so this is the vertical for two this is the horizontal for two both of them are intersecting somewhere here similarly guys you can work out the remaining points something of this sort and that's the final front view okay there is a lot of heat in this room man so guys uh that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification on your cell phones so that was all from my side for today i'll be back with some more videos on drawing and mechanics until then it's a wrap this is manas patnak signing off take care have a great day and keep learning